Hey guys, happy Monday, and we are coming to the end of this cycle. Uh, we've been squatting every Monday, so we are gonna work on a single heavy overhead squat today. So 12 minutes to find a one rep max for the day. Uh, overhead squats, again, are very challenging for most people, so I'll give you a couple options here, but let's just talk about the basic setup. Coming out of the rack, the bar's gonna start on your back, so you're gonna find that good back rack position, stand up, take a step back, okay? You have to know where your grip is, all right? So you're gonna slide your hands out to find that grip, okay? Jump the weight overhead, so push press, you're gonna use your legs, drive it up to that lockout, okay? From here, keep your head and chest up, find your stance, really working on stabilizing the bar overhead, you're pushing up into the bar, Good deep squat, stand back up, okay? If it's really heavy or not comfortable bringing it to your back, you can drop the bar to the ground, all right? Or you can catch it on your shoulders if you're comfortable and then walk it back in, all right? So again, due to lack of mobility or practice, uh, you might not be able to really max out your overhead squat here. So one tool is just to work partial range of motion and or tempo overhead squats for maybe three to five reps per, per set. Okay, so again, if you're just learning, it takes a lot. You're, you're thinking shoulder position and you gotta worry about your squat, so much to think about, so just slow it down. So come out of the rack, same thing, find your grip, jump it up overhead, and just really move slow. Find your stance and just take your time. It's lightweight, so more time under tension. Right, if you feel like your shoulders are bending, your knees collapsing, you have time to fix it, get as deep as you can, stand back up, and do that for, again, three to five reps, depending how light uh, you're keeping it, okay? If you do not have an overhead squat at all, feel free to substitute front squats and just work, again, on a, on a heavy single, okay? Come out of the rack and work on keeping the elbows and chest up, get a good deep squat, and that's it for today, guys. So, have fun with that. And let's talk about conditioning. All right, guys, our conditioning today is a 12-minute AMRAP. We have six front squats, 12 pull-ups, and then six burpees over the bar laterally. All right, so 12 minutes, not too long. The front squat weight is designed to be a little heavier than usual, so a challenging weight. Um, pull-ups, we've got 12 reps, so I'll give you a couple options there. That'll be a, a big piece for a lot of you guys. Um, and then the burpees are burpees. So the front squat, I, you'll probably want to Squat clean your first one, meaning you're gonna step up to the bar, set up, and that'll be your first front squat. That's one, right? And then you're gonna grind out your six reps. Okay, again, this is meant to be heavy, it'd be like challenging for a set of six as you go forward, okay? From there, you're gonna go to the pull-ups. Again, 12 pull-ups per round. So I would say choose something, at least when you're fresh, you could do 12 pull-ups unbroken. So let me give you a couple options. The classic is the band. Okay, one foot in, hands on either side, and good range of motion, work on that kip, okay? Um, if you want something a little bit faster, something I don't see a lot of people do that often, but is great, is a jumping pull-up. So set yourself up so you get a little knee bend, you jump and pull, back down to straight arms at the bottom, okay? So there's a little bit of timing with the pull. If you think this feels easy, I always say compare this to like an elite athlete doing 12 pull-ups. It's easy for them on the first round, but it's about intensity, range of motion, okay? Of course, we also always have the, um, the ring rows as well. So this is building that basic strength. Again, you can angle these to anywhere that feels easy or hard just to get that good foundational strength. Okay, from there, you're gonna go to the burpee over the bar. So lateral, go to the floor, okay? You don't have to stand up all the way. So when you come to your feet, two-footed hop, stay low, over and back, okay, for six reps, and then you're back to the squats again. So good workout, 12 minutes, go hard, have fun with it. We do have a little finisher as well. All right, guys, simple core finisher today. We got two rounds, two movements, 50 reps each. We're gonna start with a Russian twist. I have a dumbbell here. Uh, you can use a medicine ball or light kettlebell. Main thing here is we're working on that lateral core strength, that rotational strength. So ideally, you're gonna do this with your feet off the ground, okay? You're gonna rotate. You can touch the ground if you want on each side. Okay, 50 reps, okay? From there, you're gonna go to 50 flutter kicks. We'll do a two count, so left, right equals one rep. All right, so for this, we're gonna start. You can do hands overhead for, for a hollow position, okay? But try to keep your low back flat on the floor. You don't wanna be arched back when you do this, okay? So arms at your side. It's gonna be a little easier. But again, trying to keep the shoulders up, feel that crunch back touching the ground. 
legs straight. Try not to have bent knees so you get that good hip flexor strength training. And that is it for Monday, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.